and welcome back to Open Your Eyes on this lovely Friday morning. It is a fun Friday and talking of fun, we're venturing off now into our third and final segment for the morning. Now, Scrapbooking 101 is what we'll be discussing. Stacy is in with us. She's actually the owner of Stacy's Handmade Crafts. Stacy, morning. Good morning. How are you? I'm fine. Can we cut out that morning? Cut out the morning? Yeah, there you go. Mm. No, this is not. <laughs> We know that, we know that uh, you know, when it comes to handmade crafts yeah. and stuff like that, you are the girl. And like I was telling you, I still have the one that we made the last time she was here. Wow. I still have it mm -hmm, because it was that good. Now, Stace, <laughs> when we hear Scrapbooking 101, from the mere fact we hear 101, it's a learning lesson. Yeah. How has things been for you? Tell us about business. How has it been for you? Well, mm -hmm. everything is going fine right mm -hmm. now. One of my newest products is the... Abacus. Wow. You made that? Yes. You made this? Oh That's my God. one of my newest product. I haven't seen an abacus in, in so like, long. Yeah. I, I, do they, they probably stop selling it. That's why you end up making it? Actually, what I'm trying to get into is doing educational toys. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But wooden educational toys. My dad has a carpentry shop, so I'm oh, so using the, his craft. You have the perfect partner? Yeah. Ah. Yes. Durable stuff. I'm sure you could give this to a kid and they don't know what to do with it. Yeah. That's true, do you remember what you do with it? Well, you try and make a triangle saw, a triangle saw, and then you do. <laughs> it's Teacher a manual. Stacey, it's it, how you learn math. It's a it's a um, manual calculator. <laughs> yeah, it's yep, how you learn it math. Is, it is. It is. It <laughs> yeah. Scrap wow, scrapbooking great. is like. Um, wait, wait. wait so, but how much does this go for? Like, what yeah. are you selling this for? Uh, it's sixty-five. And have you put it out, and people have started to buy it? I haven't actually, um, what would you say, like launch it? Launch uh -huh. it? Mm -hmm. You have now, girl. You have to launch it, man. You have uh -huh. now. You see that Facebook uh, and phone number right down there? there? The That's where you yes. call to get your custom made abacus. <laughs> yeah. Great I have idea. more coming in, mm -hmm. more yeah. other toys in plan to do. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. Yeah. So you said educational toys. The abacus is one. What yes. else do you have uh, lined like up? Building blocks, puzzles. You um, make, you're making them. I, it's in process. Yeah. It's in process. So it you mean if, if I want to get building blocks for my niece, <laughs> I could get personalized building blocks for yes. her. Oh, that's such a great idea. Yes, Stacy, you never. Uh, you, you seem to always be expanding always. on on uh, the different creative products that you come up with. We know that you do stuff for school still. Yeah. So the school year started and you helped a lot of teachers get their uh, classrooms looking pretty. And now you're moving into educational that toys. Is, yes. And now you're teaching us how to do scrapbooks. Yeah. All right. So yeah. 101, let's jump on into it. What's a scrapbook though? What, what, when we say scrapbook, what are we talking about? Well, if you take scrap and you take book. Oh what my do you goodness. Get? Scrap book. Yeah, you use, well, <laughs> like people like me that do crafting a lot, mm -hmm. we usually have a lot of scraps. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so we, we, take, we take these scraps and create something new. So I ask her, where do I want scrap? This right here, the following, cutting out something, it's scrap. You still have you material still have, left yeah, over. Material yeah, material left over. So and then you don't want yeah. to throw that away. Mm -hmm. So you use it to create something. Right here, I have a showcase of things that people cherish, yeah. Yeah. memorable, and this is a... Um, footprint mm -hmm. and a handprint of my son Aww. when he was born yeah so this is a um, memorable thing for me so I this is how I would put it into a scrapbook yeah, yeah. now this some people are really into scrapbooking and I think some people perhaps have never tried it because they're scared that maybe mm -hmm. it's gonna be a lot of work but yeah. it's a great way to save memories yes yeah. Yeah. you can use pictures you can use phrases you can yeah. use Anything that you want to put into memory, yeah. mm -hmm. you can do it. And also Even like pieces of old blankets or yes. pieces of uniform Clothing, or clothes. Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, this that is, is so beautiful. nice, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, check, out, man. check this out. This is so good. So we're gonna make our own yes. version. Right? I brought for one for you and one for John. Right. Okay. Oh, cool. And then um So we're gonna I, show you how easy this is. Yeah, I Hopefully. cut I cut this off and then I put my own thing on the book so you okay. can do the same thing okay okay and this is the cutting um so she has all these fancy yeah, you, the you can thing. use go ahead and cut so but but okay so all right, let me show you one yeah second. yeah please okay. you cut the <laughs> 
Well, first of all, sorry, mm -hmm. we are jumping way ahead of time. Okay, mm -hmm. okay, you tell the me. First, the first thing we need to do is find your page. Okay. Find uh, your here page. Here I have blank pages. Mm -hmm. Okay. We have different size. We have yeah. this um, 7 by 9, and I have this 9 by 10 by 10, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and the 12 by 12. Okay. Any size that you want to choose, you can choose. Yeah. So, th so this is what we refer to as, uh, as your base. This then. is your base. Okay. Uh -huh. This Good. is your base. People use black. Black okay. is really nice to use, especially if you're doing like weddings, you're doing like love stories, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. if you're doing like if you're traveling. But because this is for a newborn, I use white. Oh. Yeah. And then for the um, other piece, mm -hmm. you, can, you either could use printed, colored, um, paper, paper so stripes. It's like wrapping paper, right? Yeah. It's like wrapping paper. You can use stripes, polka dots, and this one here is... Oh, that's beautiful. With um, hugs and kisses, mm. flowers. It all depends is what, what is your team. Yeah. As people travel a lot, they have people that like to travel and they save their pictures and they want mm. to put it in a book. So that's what they would, they would use. Also, right. we have these poster boards. They have the glitter, the glitter, the glittered ones. Mm -hmm. They have the metallic ones. Mm -hmm. And then they have the... I guess the fluorescence one. So, and, and this is really where your personality comes out in, in, in it too, exactly. right? Exactly. So somebody can go for something simple or if you want shiny and lots of bling. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It just depends on what your taste is. Yes. Um, okay. So we just choose a base. So yeah, you, ch base. you choose any ch size you want to okay. choose and then you can choose. A I'm going to go with the small one. I'm going with, the, all right, so you know this better than me. How, what, the, what did I mention? This is nine by seven. Okay, cool. So there you go. Me never would. I would never think that. Nine by seven. Okay, so I've got a nine by seven. Me too. Okay. All right, next up. Mm -hmm. The next step is to pick the other Bam, see there? base. I it doesn't have to. It doesn't have to fold the whole. Yeah. The whole. The whole thing. Whole you base. can do two different colors if you like. Really? Okay. So uh -huh. who's 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 uh, prints am I working with? Your little boy or your little girl? I only have one. Oh, child. you only have one. It's, it's, it's the same boy. thing. It's, it's the same, same thing. thing. Okay, okay. Cool. Yeah. So it's a yeah. little boy, so we're gonna. Alright. Alright. Hmm. That's just blue there. It doesn't have to be blue <laughs> because it's a boy. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Alright, so moving this, putting it back. These are also scraps. I like this boring. Cool. This is a cool device though. Like yeah. Alright, so this is mine? Yeah. Cut that one. Okay, good. I help you guys with the cutting. And for okay, so it doesn't matter. Like mine is bigger, so I can do whatever shape I want. You can you can cut it out mm -hmm. to make it fit however you want it to fit. Okay. okay. It doesn't have to be um, any precise or exact way. You know, you do your own thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Do you want a little fix up now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. So let me try something. So uh, is it like when you're working with your children with this, this is a fun way to work with them, right? Yeah, this yeah. is a fun way to work with your children. You can, even them can do scrapbooking. Yeah. I mean, yeah. They, they love, a lot of children they love, love creativity. They love doing things with mm -hmm. their hands. And I, it's, it's better than having them to sit on that tablet all day. That's true. I am, I had to try one creative thing. All right, so here we go. Okay. Yeah. Now your adhesive. Uh -huh. Don't use paper glue the white one because it usually wets the paper and yeah. it, it okay. shriv like shrivels it. So, so you can use, use um, silicone glue or you can use stick glue. Okay, I'll go with it, stick glue. Either one. But, but. Do I just squeeze it? Yeah. Okay. Do I have to like, <laughs> is it like white glue where I have to spread it too? Uh, you can you can put it on the edges in between. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh, cool. So, have you tried doing uh, crafting with your children, with your little boy? How old is he? He's five. Do you do crafting with him? Yes, I do. Yeah. yeah? He he likes at five years old. Actually, he from I, he was like three or four. Mm -hmm. he sit down and he work with me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. do my work because I work from home. Mm -hmm. okay. So he would sit down and he would help me cut letters and cut the 
pieces of paper and foamies that I use and mm -hmm. he enjoys it even though it's not perfect but I encourage him because I mean and that's what I was gonna tell you because you know Stacy I imagine that you're a perfectionist in what you do um, and then you have a child working with you and I know a lot of parents they're really hard on their kids when they're doing stuff like this like oh it's not straight you know mm -hmm. doesn't look right what what do, your way of getting him involved well as like long if as it doesn't come out absolutely perfect you still I, I allow him to do whatever he wants to do with, yeah. with whatever he's doing. It's mm -hmm. not like um, I won't use what he's doing, <laughs> <laughs> but if I show him appreciation, like oh it's pretty, yeah. or it's it, it's well done, encourage him even though it's not that you're lying, but you give them motivation, yeah, yeah, you mm -hmm. know, so that they don't give up. And I think it applies to everything in life. Your children try, you have to commend them. You but, know. You, but you know what, Steve, a lot of folks might say mm. it's a lot of patients working with these kids, I don't want to work with them. Tell us about the importance of working along with your kids. Well, children are like sponges. You have to mold them, you have to teach them if you mm. want them to be good people in society. Mm. And yes, there are some people that do um, try hard with their children mm. and they probably don't turn out the way how they expect. But Molding your children in the right way is very yeah. important. Encouraging them to do good is very important. But what about if they're so in tune with this, this YouTube and this, 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 uh, the devices and stuff like that? How do you take them away from that? And, you know, <laughs> what, what, what would you say? Especially that you've got all these skills and you wanna, you wanna showcase to your children what, what, what you've got. Well, it's, um, it's that's a challenge because it's easier to just say. Here's the tablet. Go and sit down. Good. Yeah. Don't bother me. Go. It's that easier to do that. Yeah. But if you um, take, even if it's um, a limit, you give your children limits. Mm -hmm. One hour on the tablet or half an hour on the tablet. And if you watch YouTube, this is the only thing you can watch or you can't mm -hmm. watch these other things. You know, if they're going to watch YouTube, let them watch things that will help them, benefit yeah. them. Mm -hmm. not, not watch craziness as the older people would say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's true. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. I, I just, I don't know. I just love that. Um, let me see what I, I could pick out with the scrap. Can I use one of these? I just use this. Hmm. We have punchers too. Who? Punchers. Oh, those are punchers. I thought they were stamps. Okay. Yeah, punches. You can use punches to put whatever shape you want to put. It's a little heart, it's a little child, yeah. a little car, a little bear, hands and foot, star. Okay, cool. You know, I like it. I feel I feel good doing it. It takes your mind off of all well, the see, stuff. And I, that was the danger. I was trying to remind myself that I am working, so I do have to talk. But you can get lost in you it. You can oh, get yes. lost it's into it, It's very therapeutic. Indeed. Like, yes. you're just concentrated on, on being creative. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. You must find it. I mean, that's part of the reason it's your favorite pastime, right? Well, it's not, it's not really a pastime for me. Yeah. It's more like a work for me, but I enjoy doing it because it's more of a pacific time. Yeah. I am calm. I try to... Um, focus on what I'm doing mm. and I'm like what you said earlier I'm a perfectionist yeah. and I try to get my work well in detail and well um, uh -huh. um, um, good then so yeah. that people will be satisfied with the end product. You know what I think about? I'm trying to not get, put my mouth in a funny position or funny way when I'm cutting. <laughs> yeah, when you got some people Don't like, worry hey, you're hey. human. Yeah, 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 I'm trying not to, I'm trying not to. Good cool. Yeah, that like, happens I'm sometimes, it's for sure. My gosh. Okay then. So do you offer art classes to people too? Um, or you've never ventured? I have never, um, I thought of it, but I've never done it before. Yeah. I have thought about doing it because I like art. I like that children get into art because it's, it's good, you know, it, mm -hmm. it discovers you let them discover another side of themselves. Yeah. You know, because, I mean, children is the right time to get into art because then they are not afraid to try anything. 
<laughs> like us who want it to look perfect, right? Mm -hmm. And can, can your can your artistic mind, and I'm saying these things because a lot of people would want to know, you know, what if I could generate income from income from this? Can your artistic mind help you make some money by doing the things that you you love to do? Like for instance, what you do here, people buy anything. Yes, they do. See, look them on. Yes, they do buy it, but mm -hmm. also it comes. People have to appreciate art. Yeah. And be willing to pay the price for the art. Mm -hmm. It's not just saying, oh, I like to see it, and then that's it. Also, and with that, you can do an elevation okay. to make it look a little bit 3D. Okay. What? A little 3D over there? It's no fair. Yeah. Oh, stick it in I see. Back. Yeah, yeah. This is mounting tape and double-sided tape. Okay, cool. Those are some of the things you can use to do scrap motion. Yeah. This is so good, though. Okay. I should have given it a border. Yeah, the try one border thing right now. All right. Now what you guys are creating is just one page of your book. <laughs> just one page? Just one page. Because it's scrapbooking, so it's, it's it's a book. Yeah. Yeah. So you have different. His, for example, my theme is my son, okay. like his first months. So I would be including pictures and maybe phrases. Yeah. And I brought with me a little phrase here. It's a phrase that says, a baby is a dancing joy of life. Oh, wow. So things like that you can put on your scrapbooking. Phrases, pictures, mm -hmm. and certain memories that you know you want to um, save. Okay. Along with that, also you can put in cards in your scrapbooking. Mm -hmm. Like, if this didn't have a butterfly, I would add something here. Mm -hmm. Add this here, and then when I open it, then it will have pictures. It will have oh, other stuff in it. Oh, sweet! Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So. Okay, that's so good. So, you know, this is such a great exercise I think uh, parents could do with their kids too, like memorable days with them. Mm -hmm. Like imagine at some point in time, your son will help to make a scrapbook of his own favorite moments. Yes. Our children always have favorite moments. Yes, they have they do. a lot of fun doing different things. Favorite characters, mm -hmm. what's their favorite movie right now. Yes. And then sometimes like when parents have a party for their children mm -hmm. there are a lot of um like decorations and different things there there are invitations yeah mm -hmm. they can do a scrapbooking for their party Ta -da! their own There's one mine. yeah i'm trying to tr oh you're still going yeah, man good job just a little all right do you want my to scrapbook is done my page finish? well do you want to add a phrase to it yeah, Maybe we I can could. show you how to do that. Where would you put it? Um, it, it can go up here. Yeah, because I think the top here. looks a little bit uh -huh. empty. So you can okay. add that. But now to add your your um the phrase. Your phrase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can also do it as an elevation. You can put a background on this. Mm -hmm. So you can choose another piece of paper. Oh. I like this. <laughs> okay. Okay, you can put it like this. Stick it. Mm -hmm. All right. I think I want done directly. <laughs> yeah, you know, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. I love it. Okay. And you can cut this out. And we'll elevate it again, just like the heart. So instead of them being on the tablet, this is a good way to entertain your kids. Yes, so let's uh, we'll soon finish, right? You finish? Pretty well, it's much. It's only to make more thing, man. <laughs> it's not All a competition, right. don't worry. All right. You're being very creative over there. <laughs> We're so proud of you, John. We expect you to go home and do this with your, your daughters now. Yes. 
Alright. We tried. Oh, there you go. Yay. I'm officially done. Okay. I like this. <laughs> All right. All right. So there you did it. We did one page of a scrapbook, just one activity that you can do with the kids. Stacy, as always, you really just make things that are so complicated seem so easy, and we appreciate it. Um, Check my notes. Wow, host. It'll be behind. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Because whoa. a house is home, right? And That's family is home. That's the reason. <gasps> there we go. <laughs> All right, we got to go ahead and take that final break. Mm. Remember, Stacy does handmade crafts for just about any occasion, mm -hmm. right? Any occasion. Party, uh, classroom, decorations, anything you want, we do it. For yeah. We could do it. And she's even venturing into educational toys, Oops. like this really cool abacus that's here. Mm -hmm. uh, find her on Facebook, uh, the information is there. Call her, WhatsApp her, and uh, all the information. Yeah, yes, everything is right there. <laughs> uh, but we appreciate you coming in and helping us to craft this morning. And now your uh, your son has two more personalized pages, yeah. courtesy <laughs> of John. <laughs> all right, so we got to go ahead and take a final break, and when we come back, we'll have a wrap up. So stay tuned.